What's going on my YouTube fishing brethren? I got another unboxing vid again. Let me know if you're getting sick of the unboxing videos, but I got another one for you guys. Um, it's not lures, but it is what you hold them in. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's uh, tackle boxes. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me ramble. You want to see what I got. So let me open it up. Let's see if you guys can see down there. Safety first, kids. Be careful playing with knives. Okay, number one. Bass Mafia coffin. Um, let's see, which one is this? It. Well, that's sealed. No water's getting in there. 3700 series. Ow, that hurt. 3700 series. Bass Mafia coffin. You see all those dividers? That's one reason why I got it. Two, it's waterproof and has that stuff in it that stops rust. I don't know what it's called, but no more rusty hooks. Super heavy duty, heavy quality. You can't see in there. So if you're in a tournament, some guy next to you can't look over and see what you're using. And supposedly they float and you can run them over with a truck so that will keep your lures nice and safe so yeah I had to get them just because they look cool and I like the quality of it already and I'm just tired of rusty hooks and I guess if it floats that's even better right and the names awesome Bass Mafia sick it goes with Steezy Angler. I think it goes hand in hand. So I'm going to be all decked out in these. I'm only going to use these from now on. I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to get some hats and shirts as well. I think that's going to fit my swagger a lot better. Let's see what else I got. Tackle Warehouse sticker. Invoice. Another 3700 series. Yep. So that makes two. Oh, that's right. I thought I ordered three 3700 series. Well, I guess I did, but I ordered one in the deep. Same thing. Same everything. Thicker. Twice. Look what I found here. Ah. You want some? Yes. Sorry about that again, fellas. Anyways, same thing as those two, but thicker for uh, lipless cranks, square bills, mm, something a little longer profile. This is, I believe, I want to say it's four inches high. These are two, so this is going to be more of like smaller baits such as like jigs and what else is small? I can't think right now. I had a 10 hour work day. I can't think, but smaller baits. Um, so these will be nice for smaller ones. It's be really good for cranks. So I got those. I don't have a whole ton of tackle, so I only got three. I guess four, so I did get the ever exclusive terminal box, terminal coffin I've been hearing all about. The terminal coffin. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but I hear really good things about it and I want to try it out for myself. And I definitely don't have a lot of terminal tackle. 
but one day I'd like to. So when that day comes, I'll be ready. Um, okay, so they put terminal coffin on there for me already, which is awesome. Except for it's a little crooked, I'm not okay with that. I'm really picky. No, that's fine. I'll get over it. Okay, I pop it open. It's got the same seal, same durability. Ow, that hurts. Okay, it's got little dividers for like little weights, like drop shots, little drop shot hooks, punch and skirts, rings, or wacky rings, yada yada, etc. You get the drift. And then it has different size um, pieces of foam with different size holes in it for your different weights, like your um, different size tungsten. If you're tired of your tungsten getting all chipped up from scratch, getting all chipped and scratched and rolling around, dinking together, um, or your worm hooks or not hooks, ugh, your worm weights, or um, just different sizes so you can keep it nice and organized. And on this side, you got a bunch of foam with like slits for different size hooks and keeping your hooks organized. And all you got to do is, I believe, yeah, you just slide it open like that, slide it back. Really cool, really neat and tidy. I can tell I'm really going to like these. They have really nice, really nice seals. Seals them up nice and tight. No water's getting in there. Supposedly they float. I don't know. They just feel pretty heavy duty. They're kind of heavy. Not heavy, but they're heavier than the average box. I don't know if these float. I don't really want to find out either. And lastly, free tackle warehouse shirt. After spending, I believe, a hundred bucks, you get a, they offer a free tackle warehouse shirt. So that's really cool. Well, anyways, that, that concludes my unboxing for today. Um, I'm going to throw my lures in the coffins, and then maybe my next vid will either be the unboxing of the Bass Mafia bag, or my tackle. So if you guys want to see what I got for tackle, um, leave a comment down below and I'll make a tackle video so you guys can see what I have in my bag. Um, actually, yeah, you can do that, but I think I'm going to wait until I get all my coffins. I got, let's see, two, like four more coffins in a bag, maybe five coffins. No, not five, because I don't need the deep dive and crank yet. I don't have any of those. So four more coffins in a bag, and then I'll do my, um, a, ta a tackle video, what I keep, what I have, what I keep with me, what I go to the lake with. But anyways, I've rambled on a lot. You guys will see me in the next video. It'll either, either be a, another unboxing. Maybe I'll go fishing. But more than likely, I'll get my MTB box or my LTB box. Or even my other Bass Mafia unboxing vid. Either way, I'm just rambling. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Hope you enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe. Thanks. I appreciate it. Later, guys.